other than my teenage shaking, not stirred. <laughs> what is going on, folks? See, Dar here from DMV's Cockpits. And if you don't mate, if you don't understand that there, I'm sure you haven't seen the James Bond films. James Bond, one of my favourite films ever. And there's this iconic scene on an airplane whenever he's in this big fancy airplane with a bar on it. And the first thing he says to the bartender is, give me a martini, shaking, not stirred. Now, a few people that wouldn't be very up with the cocktails don't really know what that, the way a martini works. So I've been thinking, that there's cool. Next time I go to a bar, let's order a shaken, not stirred martini. But actually, fun fact, the way a martini is supposed to be made is it's not actually a shaken drink, it's a stirred drink. So basically, when you shake a drink, it dilutes it a lot. And it also, you know, it's it's not, it doesn't really give you any of the flavor of the cocktail. Um, you usually shake a martini or shake a cocktail when there's fruit juices or something on that there that gives it flavour and needs to be just shaken up to wake up some of the flavours. But on the martini, it's straight alcohol. Realistically, whenever we say shake a drink, whenever bartenders say shake a drink, um, basically they're shaking it, um, just the, you know, mix the alcohols with the fruit juices or whatever. But if there's no mix in a, in a drink, there's no need to shake it. So that there's where the whole martini shaking and surfing um, isn't, isn't incorrect. Um, because it's all alcohol, a martini is just a straight alcohol drink. Um, you don't actually need to shake it. So realistically you need to stir it. But what I'm just going to do, just the honour to follow obviously, because martini is shaking and stir, the most iconic James Bond follow ever. Um, got dressed up and all for it too, so you know, uh, I'll take a martini. You know, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm just going to honour to the way the following, um, as I would actually shake it. Now, the reason why you see some ice here, something in this glass, is because we need to actually chill the glass before we put the alcohol on it. Or else it's just not going to, you know, it's going to be very alcohol forward and you're not going to sort of mute some of the flavours on it. That's another thing when it comes to um, mixing drinks, you mute a lot of the flavours. You, whatever you're shaking drinks, you, you mute a lot of the flavours. Um, but yeah, um, before I do anything, I would like to say thank you so much for the support on the uh, channel. We're at 94 subs now, we're very, very, very close to the 100 subs. So actually go away, make sure to share, like and subscribe this video. Let's get so many more viewers. <laughs> we work as a team, poker team, and let's get us to 100 subs. Um, but anyway, um, before before I continue rambling on, um, basically I'm just going to show you what's on this cocktail. So basically this is a perfect martini cocktail. So a perfect martini is a vodka and gin cocktail. Um, so, a normal martini just has gin in it, perfect vodka gin. Anyway, what we're going to need is we're going to need some gin, obviously. So that is, I'm going to use Green Gordon's, relatively cheap in any off license, um, as one of our base alcohols. We're also going to be using some vodka, I'm just using the Alien Head because I love Alien Head vodka and obviously they featured me on the Instagram, which I'm never going to give a word about because that was like the best day of my life. Um, but yeah, um, Alien Head vodka. Then we're also going to need two types of vermouth. Now we're going to need extra dry vermouth and just dry vermouth. So the extra dry vermouth that I have today is actually Martini branded. I didn't actually know this was a vermouth until I was an office and I was like, what sort of vermouths do you have? And he's like, well, we have a martini for it. And I was like, oh, what vermouth for a martini? And he's like, no, the brand martini. So I was like, you know, I didn't know that was vermouth. I thought it was some fancy vodka. <laughs> anyway, yeah, 10 points. 10 points in all seasons. You can't really beat that. Like, uh, you just know, say if you drank it straight, you know, it's 15%. You probably get full off it right enough. Um, but yeah, then we need some of my favourite vermouth is some Lily Blanc. This is just a dry, it's not even a dry vermouth, it's like a macerated wine. It's a very lovely macerated white wine. Um, it's 70%, so it's quite buffy or buffed when it comes to alcohol. Um, get it on Amazon, relatively cheap. I'm not too sure here on Derry um, if there's many places that do it, but um, you know, Amazon's like £14, pounds. just go and buy that. Um, also what I have here, if you might have noticed, you might have noticed because all the things behind it, is I have some orange butters. The reason why I have orange butters, the recipe doesn't call for orange butters, but I just like putting a dash of orange butters on the end of it just to give it a bit more extra flavour because the martini is just known as a very dry and, you know, unless you get that top shelf sort of gin, um, it's not very tasteful. Then finally what we're going to need is a <laughs> an abused lemon. Um, basically you just need the lemon for the peel, as you can see here, I have a few peels taken off this lemon already. Um, but you can get those in your store for about like, like 40 feet or something like lemon. Um, but yeah, instead of me rambling, let's get straight and do the shaking martini, you know, James Bond martini. So yeah, let's get straight into this. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to need our shaker. So, we're going to need 
one and a half ounces or 45 mils of our gem. So let's get 45 mils of our gem, like so. Oh, spell something out on the side there, it's all right. 45 mils of our gem. Then what we're going to need is equal measurements or 45 mils of our um, vodka. I love making head vodka, obviously it could be featured me, but I don't like the ball. I love the shape of it and all, but it's a really awkward ball, of course. Let's see if we can get this done the first try. Like it's a 90 degree angle, you have to turn it there. <laughs> and then it's trying to get another half ounce there. Or about 15 mils. So you have 45 mils of our vodka and 45 mils of our gin. Hopefully you like the lighting as well. The light there just sort of reflects on my face. It's because it was a very grainy quality and it was in the last few of my values. So hopefully that sort of sorts it out. Next what we're going to do is we're going to get our Lele Blanc or whatever vermouth you have handy. Lele Blanc is specifically called for in this cocktail. But you know whatever, you know, you can at least a white wine. It wouldn't be as tasteful but you know. Even though, even just a little, just get a little bit more relatively cheap. You're just going to need 15 mils of this anyway. So 15 mils of our, oh god, a heavy 15 mils or half an ounce of our lily blanc. Very tasteful. And then um, 15 mils, so equal parts of our vermouth, half an ounce. So yeah, extra dry vermouth, straight in. So let's go here, like so. That's fantastic. All right then. Next, what I'm just going to do. This is not necessary, but you can do it if you want to, if you have them anyway. It's literally just one dash, one dash of our orange butter, just to give a bit of an orange flavour to it. And next we're just going to get our ice. Um, like I was saying, this is a shaking cocktail. So I just have one big ice cube in there, I'm not sure if you can see that. One big ice cube. And then I'm going to crack the other ice cube just to give it extra dilution. Like so. It's probably just so satisfying with cracking ice. Um, so yeah, we're just going to use that and shake our drink up. So let's give this a nice shake. Ten, fifteen seconds now of a shake just to get it nice and diluted, even though you don't really want it diluted in a martini, but. I'll just go off what the form says and it says about 10 to 15 seconds. So next what we're going to do is our ice, our glass is nice and chilled there. We're just going to dump our extra water and ice cube into our small shaking tin. And then we are going to just double strain this into our glass. So yeah, just get your um, your strainer and another smaller strainer and just pour it directly in. So let's get this in there. Very voluminous, <laughs> not very all that extra vermouth in there. Um, so yeah, just before we end this cocktail off, what we're just going to do is we're going to take a nice big strand, if I can find a clean enough strand of lemon. So let's go here. Okay, like so, and then we're just going to out the colour cells of it, as you've seen in one of my other videos that I've cut myself. Um, but there, then we're just going to express some of the oils on this and then do a nice little round the rum job and then drop it on. So yeah, there is your 007 Shake Your Not Stirred Cocktail. <laughs> Always go with the English accent, what to say, that's crazy, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, let's just give it a say, it's, uh, words are hard. Let's just give this a taste while we're here. Mm, yeah, right off the bat you get that lemon on the nose. They did their nose, uh, the smell you get in your nose translates straight into that drink. So you, even though there's no lemon really in the drink itself, you can taste the drink. The orange bitters just gives a little bit of extra citrusy too, which is lovely. That's why I do put it on there. But then after that, you get hot in the face straight off the Lele Blanc, and then you get hot in the face with the dry vermouth. So you can't get the lingerance of the gin on there, but it's sort of lost in this cocktail because of how, you know, how flavourful the two, the two vermouths are in. So yeah. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Just before I end it off, we'll give it a more taste. Mm. We'll see. Can I beat a martini? It's definitely a supper. It's not something you can pound or down on. I mean, you, it serves some of you, you probably could down it, but me personally, it's, it's strong. I can down it. 
But yeah, hope you enjoy that video. If you did, make sure to smash a like and subscribe to these YouTube videos. We are so close to 100, I can not say it this time. So share it with all your friends, share it on your Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Oh, by the way, I made a new Twitter. I haven't got anything up there yet, but this video will probably be the first thing that's promoted on there. Um, it's Twitter at the MD's Cocktails, so just give it a like. Um, or not a like, just follow follow me, like the post or whatever. Um, um, yeah, Davies Cock is on Twitter, so hopefully you did enjoy this video. Um, hopefully you are staying safe in this whole lockdown. I know it's sort of past, but like, the rules have all changed. It's all the madness that's going on at the moment. But hey, that's life. We'll get over it eventually. Anyway, cheers.